Now, after a three-year hiatus due to the pandemic, India's biggest auto show is back. The Auto Expo kicking off in the capital. The theme this year is sustainable mobility. Big players like Maruti Suzuki, Hyundai, MG Motor, Ashok Leyland and EV players unveiled a range of new offerings. Tata Sun's chairman N. Chandrasekhar and Noel Tata, chairman of Trent International, were present at the Tata Motor showcasing its EV offerings. We get you all the action from day one of the Auto Expo. But first, the big CNBC TV 18 exclusive interview this evening with Tata Sun's chairman N. Chandrasekharan on Tata Motors' growth path on the Air India show cause notice that has been issued by the DGCA and more. My colleague Parikshit Lutra in conversation with the Tata Sun's chief. Uh, Mr. Chandrasekharan, very strong show by uh, Tata Motors here at the Auto Expo. 26 products unveiled across segments. Give us a sense, what does this show about Tata Motors' growth roadmap? Today, you're a strong number three, growing in a robust manner. How do you see growth from here? I think uh, both in um, commercial vehicles and passenger cars, uh, we are driving towards uh, new mobility. Mm. And we're investing in a number of technologies. Mm. Uh, you've seen us uh, launch a number of electric vehicle um, passenger cars and also you're seeing the same thing in commercial vehicles um, you got to see what we're doing in the fuel cells and uh, hydrogen uh, powered uh, internal combustion engine vehicles uh, we are looking at urban mobility as well as uh, long distance trucking mm -hmm. as far as the commercial vehicle is concerned as far as the um, passenger car is concerned I think we are investing both in ICE technology as well as in um, electric vehicles. See, we had a uh, lot of product gaps which we have been trying to uh, address. So it's a question of uh, focusing on safety. It's a question of uh, taking a bet on electric mobility. That's a bet we took in uh, uh, 2018, late 18 and 19. And since then, um, we have only doubled and tripled our efforts. Mm. So uh, we are committed. We are also wanting to create cars which are very desirable for the consumer. Mm. Um, we have to work on both affordability and on uh, driving pleasure mm. um, and on technology. On technology is something that will continue to invest. So electric vehicles, how uh, you have come up with a, 10, a SEP 10, 10 lakh electric vehicle car. How will you continue focusing on bringing down costs and any challenges to electric mobility that you see in the country, which uh, probably need to be done away with? I think we need to do all ranges. It's not only about uh, a price range at uh, 10 lakhs. Mm. We also have to have higher end models because customers have different choices. There are different segments of customers. So <clears throat> we need to continue to uh, uh, work on uh, batteries and need to work on uh, uh, new technologies. Currently, we are with uh, lithium ion and we need to look at other technologies as well. Mm -hmm. So we are uh, working with, uh, let me put it this way, startups and other innovators. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think this space will evolve. Mm -hmm. It's uh, too difficult to say exactly um, at what time frame and uh, when we will be launching uh, different technologies, but we'll continue to evolve. Does uh, Tata Motors have a clear path to the number one position in the market? I mean, we don't uh, talk about uh, position and market share. Our job now, we have a long way to go. Our job is now to um, continue to produce vehicles um, which are appreciated by customers mm -hmm. and uh, adopted by customers. Any so view? We've got a long way to All go. All right. So just one final comment on Air India. An unfortunate incident. You've already taken action. Anything that you'd like to tell us? No, I've already uh, said that uh, as a company and as a group, um, we uh, fell short. Um, in responding to that situation. So we are committed to making um, steps, uh, whether it is in terms of processes, in terms of uh, other systems, and uh, that we need to correct so that we can handle the situations much better. And more importantly, um, we can uh, ensure that the customers feel uh, delighted to be with uh, our airlines.
The Auto Expo, the Indian Motor Show, is making a return after a gap of three years. And the focus clearly is on clean mobility. Tata Motors had some big announcements here at the Auto Expo. They unveiled 26 vehicles across electric vehicle, the IC range in passenger vehicles and commercial vehicles as well. We are confident that we chose the right strategy. And I truly believe that the transition to electric mobility in India will happen much faster than what we have imagined. Maruti Suzuki had some announcements as well. They unveiled the EVX, which will be the first electric vehicle that will be brought to India by Maruti Suzuki in collaboration with Suzuki Motor Company in 2025. Even before that, we also saw a prototype of a flex fuel vehicle in a Wagonar form. The TCO parity, which is the basis of uh, you know calculation consumer makes for making uh, choices, uh, is uh, more in favor of larger vehicles and smaller vehicles. You've got this uh, Wagonar also, which is parked here, and there's something special about it. It's not your conventional petrol or diesel Wagonar. It is a flex fuel vehicle. So what is a flex fuel vehicle? A flex fuel one, which can run on higher ethanol blends. So this prototype that Maruti Suzuki is showcasing has been developed specifically for the India market. It has been developed by Maruti and Suzuki in collaboration with each other. It is being tested in India. It has a whole new engine and there are significant upgrades which have been made to this vehicle. I also visited uh, the booth of Ashok Leyland. They had at least seven vehicles showcased here at the Auto Expo. They had LNG vehicles, a hydrogen fuel cell truck, uh, a CNG truck, and uh, they also had an electric vehicle truck as well. is going to be different and therefore we want to be prepared for the future and that is our play at the auto expo as well we have nothing uh, from diesel or old fuel here everything is uh, future one of the latest entrants in India's crowded car market, Kia Motor today showcased two of its vehicles. The first one is the Kia Concept EV9. The second car the company has showcased is the KA4. Well, the KA4 is a luxury MPV and it is expected that uh, whenever uh, this car is launched in India, it will replace the existing uh, Kia Carnival. The concept is basically to take feedback from the consumers, how they really like the product, what kind of uh, features they would like to have in this product. So, you know, Auto Expo gives us a platform where we can really, uh, you know, talk to our consumers and understand more of their needs and uh, what, they, what they feel about the products. So we are still uh, under exploratory stage at this point in time. We'll get you another broadcast tomorrow with launches from Tata Motors. Remember, the Jimny from Maruti Suzuki, the Franks are also going to be launched tomorrow. Important launches to watch out for. Well, that's all the action from the auto.